Okay, my favorite snipers. This is going to get a little bit interesting. Why? Because I really don't use snipers very often in this game. However, if you are looking at using some snipers or you want to play with some snipers, I'm going to go over my top three favorite snipers as well as a couple honorary mentions and uh, maybe that's a good place for you to get started. Also, by the way, I have a Fortnite creator code now, so if you guys want to support me, support this channel, go ahead and use creator code IOLAUS, I-O-L-A-U-S, in the Fortnite store and at whenever you're purchasing something. And if you send me a tweet uh, or a picture or a video of you doing that, um, I may just retweet that to my 10 or so followers. Sounds like a solid deal to me. So anyways, like always, the way this video is going to work is I am going to list off my two honorary mentions, which will be snipers from events, stuff that you can't necessarily just get. And then I will give my top three snipers, all of which you can get from the collection book anytime you would like. And so with that, let's just start with my first honorary mention, Old Betsy. Now, I absolutely love Old Betsy as a sniper. One, because it is not a scoped sniper. It is just, you know, a regular sniper without a scope, which is Cool. Now, I like this because I think it makes aiming a little bit easier when you're doing something like an encampment mission where there's a whole lot of huss and you got to really quickly pick out what you want to shoot at. You can aim very, very quickly, shoot that shot real quick, move on to the next one. Now, Old Betsy, another thing about Old Betsy is she fires a very, very high damage shot. Now, there's only one round in the magazine, so you better make that shot count. Ignore how bad my aim is here because, man, I can't aim, but if you can aim, this is a solid choice. Now, this shot does a whole bunch of damage, and then, you know, you gotta wait a little bit to reload, shoot again. For this reason, I actually really, really like using this weapon for Miss Monsters specifically because of that really, really high damage shot. Uh, even more specifically, the laser husk miss monster things because I just I absolutely hate those things. Uh, beyond that, this is also really, really great for those husky husks because uh, it does enough damage sometimes to kill them in one shot. Mine's a little bit underpowered for this level, but as you can see, I'm able to do a whole lot of damage for each shot if I hit something. That's another issue. <laughs> you gotta be able to aim if you are using this weapon, but it is a lot of fun and it is very, very powerful. Now, moving on to my next honorary mention, uh, the Obliterator. This weapon is so amazing. I have an entire video dedicated to why I think you need this. To summarize it all up in a couple sentences though, one, it hits so, so hard. It is a very powerful weapon. Two, it pierces the super shielders, which is fantastic because you're able to shoot the husks inside those gigantic bubbles of shield. Three, I think it pierces riot shield husks. I never went in and retested that, but it worked sort of, and then sometimes it didn't work. It was weird. Anyways, it pierces stuff. Four, you can just destroy buildings so, so fast with this. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal weapon for just clearing out cities or clearing out walls and everything around you. It's basically a more powerful pickaxe that can hit multiple walls at once and kill them all in like one hit. So, really, really fantastic weapon, whether you're using it just to clear stuff or whether you are fighting Huss with it. This is actually my go-to sniper. If I'm ever using a sniper, it is this weapon right here. It is by far my favorite sniper in the entire game. The obliterator is just crazy. Also, I forgot to mention another reason why it's awesome. You can give it to a defender, wall that guy in, and it'll pierce those walls. I don't know if other snipers do that because I haven't really tested that one yet. So I don't know if all snipers can do that, but if you have a defender and you just basically put him in a cube, he will still shoot things with the obliterator um, through that through that wall, which is kind of solid. I know the neon rifle also does that, but I don't know if any of the other snipers do that. So basically, it's just a, it's a really good sniper. It is a really really good sniper, and it is definitely my favorite sniper of all time. But with that, let's get into the snipers that you can actually get from the collection book. Now, the sniper I am going to give that third spot to that you can get from the collection book is going to be the one shot. Now, I like the one shot for similar reasons to why I like Old Betsy is because it hits really, really hard. Basically, I kind of think of the one shot as almost an Old Betsy with five rounds in the clip that hits not quite as hard but still hits hard and has a scope. Now, again, is great for some of the same things. It's great for taking out those mist monsters, uh, specifically the laser ones. It is great 
for taking out Husky Hus because of those really, really heavy shots. And additionally, when you're using a sniper, you can be far enough away from the activity that you don't end up getting a lot of those, the little Hus jumping up on you. And then the regular just filler Hus, you let your teammates take care of those because you're out here just demolishing straight, deleting those Husky Husks because uh, the one shot, fantastic weapon for that. Again, the one I'm using here is a little bit under leveled because, well, I really don't use that one anymore. I really, <laughs> if I'm using a sniper, like I said, I'm going to the obliterator, but the one shot is still a fantastic weapon if you're just trying to get a sniper out of the collection book. However, there's a couple others from the collection book you could get. One of those other ones is going to be the Deathwing sniper rifle, the automatic sniper rifle because this one is just it's a solid weapon the deathwing is just a solid weapon now what i really like about it is that it is automatic now typically when i am using an automatic scoped weapon i actually like to go to the ars such as um i think it's called the knights oh my god i don't remember what it's called right now anyways there's the burst scoped ar which i absolutely love and then even more often i'm using the tiger typically if i want to use a scoped automatic weapon i will use those however if you're trying to get shots even further down range this is one of the snipers to go to if you just want to shoot a whole bunch also if you want to also if your aim isn't fantastic and so you got to shoot a lot before you hit something this is another fantastic weapon for that i like it because it's auto additionally to the recoil isn't too bad if you can aim pretty well and deal with the recoil it is not bad i don't like to just hold down mouse one and shoot a whole bunch i would like to kind of just stutter it you know like click 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 that sort of thing i don't know how to explain that i forget what that's calling like tap shooting i don't even know anyways that's typically how i use this weapon when i'm using it just to deal with the recoil because if you just hold mouse one down you're going to have to deal with that recoil a little bit however like i said it's just generally a solid sniper to use. It dishes out a lot of damage and has much, much greater range than you're going to be able to get with something like the Tiger, which I know is a very popular automatic scoped weapon. So yes, I like this weapon a lot. Do I use it that often? Uh, no, I don't really find myself using this sniper that often, but I figured I still had to give it a spot on my list because one, I think it's the best automatic sniper, the only automatic sniper that I will use um, if I am using an actual sniper and then after that we have to move to the number one spot a very very unique sniper the super shredder now i call this sniper unique because rather than using a scope and rather than shooting a bullet it shoots out a shotgun pellet thing again i don't know what those are called but it actually shoots a scatter shot i think that's what that's called and so for this reason i wouldn't necessarily use the super shredder at really really long range i think it works fantastic for sort of those mid-range fights and then if husk get close to you it's very easy to just not you know not look down sight and just annihilate those husks that are right in front of you and so for that reason it's actually a really great uh, sniper to use for those mid-range for those close fights i absolutely love this weapon if i'm not using the obliterator it is the only other sniper that i will really use and it is largely because it hits pretty hard and because of that scatter shot that allows you to do more of that mid-range that close range fighting when those husks get right up in your face you don't have to quickly swap to another gun you can just quickly jump back shoot those guys move on and then aim at something else plus if you don't have super great aim like I do, it also makes it really easy because you can miss a little bit and you're still gonna hit them with that shotgun pellet. Because of this, it does use shotgun ammo, but for most people, I feel like that's fine because you know when you're using a, you're not usually using shotguns and then snipers in the same loadout. I haven't seen that too often, but it is a fun weapon. It's a useful weapon. It's a great weapon, and one of the only snipers I would recommend really, really getting out of the collection book. If you don't have one, I would say you need to you need to research the Super Shredder because it is fantastic. And um, you know if you don't have the Obliterator. I'm sorry, you're out of luck, but next time it comes around, you better get that because those are my absolute two favorite snipers of all time. But I think with that, those are my top three sniper rifles that you can get from the collection book. My top honorary mentions, the ones that I find that I have the most fun with. And I would love to hear what snipers do you guys use, why you guys like those snipers, because again, this is not necessarily the overall absolute best in terms of just numbers but the ones that i find i use the most the ones that i enjoy the most and the ones that uh i still think are are pretty dang good so i'd love to hear what you guys think but that's it for now you guys i'm Iolis. Uh, please use my creator code and i'll see you guys in the next one later